here needs no introduction. He's loved by kids, he's loved by the public, and we love him. Show him a warm welcome, Dr. Ranch. Hello, everyone. I didn't quite hear that. Hello, everyone. Fantastic. My name is Ranj, and I am a junior doctor. I've been a junior doctor for just over 10 years. I'm a paediatric registrar. I work in a &E in London. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for being here today. It is absolutely bleeping freezing, but we are here, and we are here for all the right reasons. Thank you to the organisers for putting this all together. Without their hard work, this would not have been possible. Well done for getting the word out there on social media, on traditional media, leaflets, posters, word of mouth. It's fantastic to have you all here today. Thank you so much for coming. Right, we have lots and lots of reasons to be here. Some of us work in the NHS. Some of us have colleagues who work in the NHS, friends, family, some of us were born there, some of us have been treated there, and some of us have even been saved there. Doesn't matter what reason it is, the, the main and most important reason we are here is because we care. We care for our patients, we care for our services, we care for each other, and we care for the NHS. Now, there have been lots of people saying various things about junior doctors and their reasons for doing this. Let me just be clear. This is not mainly about money. This is not about money. We are not asking for pay rises. We are not asking for special treatment. We are not saying we do not want to negotiate. We do want to negotiate. We do want the contract to be discussed. All we are asking is that you acknowledge what we do, you listen to us, and you value us. The NHS only exists because of the sheer hard work and passion and determination of the people that work in it. We cannot forget that. We cannot let them forget that. This is the only reason our NHS is so amazing and one of the best healthcare systems in the world. Those people that make it the best healthcare system in the world, you must look after them, you must value them, because without them, it will not exist. What is being suggested isn't safe and it isn't fair, okay? It's not fair to say junior doctors don't work hard enough. When all of us here know we go in before we're supposed to go in. We stay in long after we're supposed to go home. We, get, we do extra hours without asking for any extra pay just to make sure our patients get the best care and the care they deserve. It is not safe to remove those safeguards that are there to prevent us working excessive hours. Tired doctors make bad decisions. It is not fair to relabel our hours on a Saturday evening as if it was any other day. That's not right. Mr. Jeremy Hunt, if you can relabel your hours, I am gladly will relabel mine. It is not safe for doctors to take on extra work because they can't afford to live. It's not fair to penalise those who choose to take time out, either to do research, to be parents, or to be better doctors. It's not safe, it's not fair to penalise those people who work in high intensity environments like A&E and intensive care. It is not safe to suggest that the NHS does not function on a 24 seven hour basis when all of us here know it does. And it is there for you when you need it. It's not fair, Mr. Hunt, to expect healthcare workers to have a duty of candour to our patients when you do not do the same. Yeah. Above all, it's not fair to say that you want to negotiate on contracts 
but will force it through if it doesn't go your way. Enough is enough. We, we don't want to actually be here. We don't want to protest like this. We don't want to even strike. But you are backing us into a corner. This is not fair. And in response to Mr Hunt's comments this morning about us all being misled, I would say, actually, Mr Hunt, it is you who is misleading the public. Why don't you tell the truth? I ask everybody here, who would you rather believe? Doctors and healthcare staff who work at the heart of the NHS and know exactly what happens, or somebody who works in an office somewhere over there? This shouldn't be about them and us, and it's not about them and us. Politicians, doctors, policy makers, employers, and the public all have to work together so that we have the best NHS that we can have. So I beg every single one of you, everybody at home, everybody at work, everybody who's out today, please support your friends, please support your families, please support your colleagues, your staff and your juniors. Support us, your junior doctors. And I promise we will not let you down. Thank you. Dr. Range. Let's hear